Why, hello! Yes, I do appreciate you all. So flying is one of the Pokemon types. It's a neat type in Pokemon. It's so neat, in fact, that it's the third most abundant type, just barely being beaten out by the normal type, and of course, ground by the water type. Water. Aside from being the third most abundant type, flying types are unique amongst the 18 existing types for its immunity to ground, one of the best offensive types in the game, while being the overall fastest type in the game. Although the flying type has a lot of good things going for it, it does have some downsides that hold it back from being a high tier type. The most obvious downside would be the flying type's weakness to Stealth Rock, the premier entry hazard. And secondly, flying is one of those types that can make or break a Pokemon's viability. Obviously, some flying type combos are better than others, and one of the less good flying type combos would be the bland normal flying type. This type combo is most well known for being the type associated with the regional birds of the first five generations of Pokemon, before Talonflame shook up the formula in Generation 6. Of course, there were other normal flying types outside of the regional birds, but it doesn't mean much when most of them share the exact same traits of having hardly any offenses to speak of, a set of terrible abilities, move pools that consist of stabs and steel wings, and no good stats or defensive profile to take advantage of the ground and ghost immunity. While some normal flying types like Pidgeot, Dodrio, Swellow, and Star Raptor have been lucky, the vast majority of the normal flying types have been left to the wayside. And the normal flying type that has been the most neglected is the beak Pokemon, Fearow. This Pokemon is, of course, well known for its role in the anime as the Fearow that evolved from the Spearow that Ash Ketchum revoked at the beginning of his journey. But outside of that notable anime role, Fearow is also well known for being entirely outclassed by Dodrio and being a terrible Pokemon. Despite Fearow being a Gen 1 Pokemon, it's one of the few Pokemon that has not received a buff any form, buff, or an overhaul from Game Freak. And it's even more brutal when you consider the fact that every other flying type from Kanto has something of a note. Charizard, Pidgeot, Gyarados, and Aerodactyl all have Mega Evolutions, Golbat and Scyther both got Evolutions, Dodrio has Jump Kick, Butterfree has Quiver Dance and Tinted Leads, the Legendary Birds have Regional Variants, Dragonite has Multiscale in conjunction with a diverse and excellent move pool, and even Farfetch'd, f***ing Farfetch'd, has a Regional Variant and Evolution. So what does that leave Firo with exactly? Well, I'm glad he asked! A heaping wad of nothing! Firo obviously was a Pokemon that was designed for an in-game playthrough and never for competitive play. But it still feels unfair that Firo was left behind while every other flying type in its home region had a buff of sorts. If I had a nickel for each fan favorite Pokemon that was neglected in its debut region while every other Pokemon of that Pokemon's type got a buff, I'd have two nickels, which isn't a lot, but strange how it happened twice. Firo has been neglected for far too long, and I truly feel bad for the Firo Nation that their favorite bird sucks. So why not buff the beef Pokemon? And where better to start than where I always start when I buff a Pokemon, with their current stats. Although I did mention Firo didn't have anything of note when compared to the other flying types from Kanto, it does have one unique trait. It's the only Pokemon to have a base stat total of 442, which is both unique and obviously terrible. Yeah, these stats suck. Not only are the stats low for an evolved Pokemon, but they are also the spread of a generic physical attacking normal type, with the speed being the best stat as a measly base 100, and the attack stat being a barely average 90. Although I could just overhaul Fero's attack and speed up to stupefyingly high numbers while the other stats drop by 20 points each, I had something else in mind. Taking advice from the person who requested this video, I decided to make Firo a mixed attacker. There really aren't any mixed attacking normal or flying types. Firo could make for a great mixed attacker with the right stats and moves, which I will get to. Though the abilities I will provide for Firo have it lean more towards of a physical attacker, I still want there to be an option for mixed Firo or all out special Firo. So before I discuss the new abilities and moves for Firo, let me show you the new stats for Firo that has its once unique base that total of 442 rise up to 503 with the hp and both defense stats dropping to 60 each while the attack special attack and speed stat all rise up to 120 92 and 111 respectively hero has always been a frail pokemon and no amount of points into bulk will change how mediocre of a defensive type normal flying is so i took points out of the bulk and redistributed them in addition to the new stat points i provided for Firo. the offenses Firo dished out were all Always laughable, and the crowded base speed of 100 didn't further help out our basic bird. 
So by drastically overhauling both offensive stats and bumping the speed up to a courteous base 111, Zero now has more offensive prowess while not being in the most crowded speed tiers. Now before I move on to Firo's abilities, quickly want to talk about Firo's bland normal typing. Normal flying is a bland typing, yes, but is there a typing that would be better for Firo? Unfortunately, no. While I would very much like to give Firo a new typing like ground flying or dark flying, Firo doesn't have the moves or dex entries that support Firo gaining a new typing. Yes, Firo learns Drill Run, but that's the only ground move it learns. And while that Firo from the anime does have a jerkish nature, that's the only portrayal of Firo being dark. As outside of its minor role in the anime, Firo's dex entries don't mention any traits that hint at the dark type. So while normal flying is a bland typing, I don't believe Firo is a Pokemon that deserves a type change, as cool as it would be. But enough of that <coughs> let's talk about Firo's current abilities. Spoilers, they suck. Actually, let me rephrase that. Genai is useless while Sniper is just good. Genai is an ability that never sees any use because the Pokemon that have this ability suck. And while Sniper is a valid but gimmicky ability, Firo doesn't have the bulk typing or no drawback move to utilize the ability as well as Kingdra or Drapion. Which would now be a perfect time to pretend that Firo doesn't have these abilities and gaslight ourselves into believing that Firo's abilities are Wind Rider, Limber, and Hustle. Wind Rider works as an ability that gives Firo an extra boost in power that provides an immunity from wind-based moves while fitting alongside its dex entries of having the stamina to fly all day long. That same stamina can also explain why Firo would have Limber as an ability, not being ruined by pesky paralysis while going up about its flight. And lastly, there is Hustle, which provides a 50% boost in power at the cost of 20% of accuracy on all moves. These abilities not only give Firo actual variety with sets, but also work alongside the Beak Pokemon's dex entry and design. So now would be a perfect time to give Firo some new moves to take advantage of its new stats and abilities. The first of which being the premier flying type move, Brave Bird. Yes, Brave Bird. Despite Firo being a literal bird from the first generation of Pokemon, no less, it doesn't know Brave Bird. Yet the Zubat line, a Pokemon species that is based on f***ing bats, can learn Brave Bird. Whose stupid ass idea was that? Oh, wait a minute. Brave Bird is a stellar flying type move Firo has been longing for ages at this point. Another move Firo has been longing for ages at this point would be Double Edge. Man, Game Freak really does not give a shit <coughs> about Firo, don't they? Well, someone does, and it's about time Firo got a move that has been around as long as it has. Of course, this not only fixes one of Game Freak's many mistakes they've made over the years, but also provides it a highly spammable stab move that is stronger than the act move return. But if recoil turns you away, don't you worry, as extreme speed is plenty strong while having the benefit of being plus two priority. Since Firo is a fast Pokemon, Extreme Speed should be a no-brainer move. Two other no-brainer moves for Firo would be Hurricane and Air Slash, two special flying moves that have little to no drawbacks. Some other no-drawback special moves would be Heat Wave as a form of fire coverage, Dark Pulse as a form of dark coverage, and Mud Slop as a form of special ground coverage that makes sense for our beak friend. These special moves are of course good, especially coming off of Firo's new special attack set of 92. But what if they could become more powerful? Introducing Nasty Plot, the premier setup move for special attackers. Though I didn't give Firo the dark type, I feel Nasty Plot is not an outlandish addition to its move pool, as it gives its new special moves some extra oomph while falling in line with Firo's dex entries that show subtle acts of the dark type, but don't inherently justify it receiving the dark type, you know? And to round out Firo's buffs, I want to provide it bulk up as a form of setup for those who want to run physical sets, Smart Strike is a form of steel coverage for Rock, Ice, and Fairy types, Haunt to prevent opposing status moves, and lastly Trailblaze as a form of grass coverage that can increase speed. With a new base stat total of 503, three terrific abilities in Wind Rider, Limber, and Hustle, as well as some new moves like Brave Bird, Double Edge, Heat Wave, Dark Pulse, Nasty Bot, and even Extreme Speed to name a few, Hero can now have a chance at being good in competitive play and not being 100% outclassed by the other flying types from the Kanto region. Those are the buffs I would provide for Firo. What do you think about these buffs I provided? Let me know down in the comments below, and while you're down there, why not join the team by subscribing and tell me a Pokemon you would like to see me buff next, and I might just do that. But until next time, I'll catch you later.